Once upon a time, there was a girl called Shirley. And yes, this is another story about Shirley. One day, Shirley was out walking with a friend, Tom. And as they were walking in the fields, they heard this. They turned around. It was Mr. Gumpy in his motor car. Can we come, please? said the boy and the girl. Okay, if you like, but it's going to be a bit of a squeeze, said Mr. Gumpy. So Shirley and Tom got into the car with the chickens and the cow and the pig and the sheep and the dog and the cat. And it was a bit of a squeeze. And you know what? Shirley was a bit frightened of the chickens because she thought they would peck her to bits. Anyway... Mr Gumpy said that it was going to rain and it did rain and then they got stuck in the mud at the bottom of a hill and they were arguing over who was going to get out and push. Anyway, the car got so stuck that they all had to get out and push it right to the top of the hill. And when they got to the top of the hill, the sun came out and they drove the car over the bridge and Mr Gumpy stopped the car so they could all have a swim in the water, which is very clean. And so all the dirt and the mud got washed off and they had such a lovely time. In fact, Shirley thought that swimming in the water under the bridge was a bit like when she came out of that magic bath next to the castle. It was very, very similar, she thought. Hmm. She went under the water thinking that she might come up in the bathroom, but she didn't. Anyway, Mr Gumpy said, come for a ride again another day. And Shirley and Tom walked all the way home. When Shirley got home, her mom greeted her at the door. Hello, where have you been? You're all wet. Shirley told mom about the story of Mr. Gumpy in the car. And mom said, don't you go in that car again with Mr. Gumpy. You never know what's going to happen. Especially don't push. Anyway, mom had already made Shirley some food for her dinner. And she was very nice. It was pizza and pasta, Shirley's favourite. Shirley was a bit funny because she thought, Mum doesn't usually make my favourite one. And so, anyway, Shirley started to remember about the time when Mum didn't even look at her when she's talking and the time when she was in the bath going to that magic place. And she thought, what a long way I've come since then because... Now our house doesn't even have a bath, it just has a shower. But I have the magic bed, which is okay. And so she thought back to the time when she was not so happy. And then she started to realise what might have been going on. She thought that maybe Mom was a witch. And so she didn't want to think about that too much, because if it was true, it's quite sad that your mom's a witch. And what do witches do? They catch children and eat them up. So she didn't think about it too much, but she had to think about it a little bit because if it was true, she'd have to run away. So that night, as she was going on the magic bed, she had a race with some witches. And as she was having a race with some witches, she thought she heard one of them saying, Shirley's mum's going to get her. Just you wait. Or something like that. And she thought it was a bit strange. So when she came back to her bedroom, she decided to creep outside, because her mum was still awake, and see what was going on. Well, when she got just along the hallway, she popped her head around, and her mum was sitting on the sofa on the phone. And so she could hear what her mum was saying. And it seemed that maybe she was right after all because she could hear her mum saying fellow witch I'm going to be able to get the magic bed although I think the magic is in Shirley and I'm just trying to work out a way how we can kill her and get the magic so we can all be free and we can have magic forever because the girls with the magic that's the ones that we want and then she heard the phone the voice on the other end of the phone That's right. You've been such a good witch pretending to like Shirley. And you've been such a good witch, I think. You're going to succeed this time. 
because the last two times you pretended to be a girl's mum, they ran away, do you remember? Yes, said Shirley's mum. One of them was Hansel and Gretel. Yes, I remember that. Now you're a witch that lives forever, so you better be make sure you get this one, said the witch on the other end of the phone. It seemed like Shirley's mum was actually a witch and that the witch on the other end of the phone was like the boss witch of all the witches. Telling Shirley's mum that she'd better not make a mistake this time and that she'd better not let Shirley escape like Hansel and Gretel did. So Shirley quietly crept back to her bedroom, got onto her magic bed, but this time she didn't go anywhere. She just sat closed her eyes and thought about how on earth could she escape from such a nice mom from killing her and getting all her magic well she realised two things then she realised one maybe the magic was not in the bath and maybe the magic was not in the bed but maybe the magic was in Shirley and it was her that was doing all this magic and then two she realised that Actually, it was because of what Shirley did that Mum started talking to her. And it was because of what Shirley did that Mum became kind of nice. Otherwise, she would have just been ignoring her all the time. And that it was one big game because she was a witch. So that gave Shirley a lot of confidence to think that she had the power. And so she went to sleep very well that night. In the morning... She remembered the dream that she had that night, and in the dream, she figured out how to escape from her mom, who was going to kill her, apparently, and catch all her magic. So, she thought to herself, if I can have a magic bath, and I can have a magic bed, then I can have a magic sofa, chair, shoes, clothes, anything I want. All I have to do is say the magic word or put the clothes on properly and I can go anywhere like a magic person. And so for the next week, she tried that out. She sat on the sofa saying all these words until she got the magic sofa. She put on the shoes and said all these magic words until she got the flying magic shoes. She put on all kinds of clothes and combinations until she got the perfect magic clothes. And everywhere she went the bench in the park the swing the slide the bus the the chair in the classrooms her slippers everything she found that she had a magic word for each one and that she could go anywhere so at least now she knew she could escape any time her mum might come and get her but that was not enough because Shirley knew that her mum had been trying to get other little boys and girls like Hansel and Gretel. And she thought, hmm, well if I'm the magic one, then I have to try and stop this witch from getting another girl or boy, because if I escape like Hansel and Gretel, then this witch will just pretend to be somebody else's mum until they get and kill them for their magic. Now I think... This witch was pretending to be the mom because, you know, it takes a while for somebody to find out they've got magic. And there's not many children that find it out so quickly like Shirley did. And so the witches have to stay with these kids for a long time until they figure it out. And then once they do, that's it. The witches attack and they get their magic when they kill them. So anyway, Shirley knew this and she thought... Well, now that she's discovered all her magic and she's not going to have long left before the witch finds out exactly that she knows about the magic. And so she said, I've got to act quickly. And so, that night, Shirley had a plan. She asked her mom to read her a book for bedtime. And so at night, Shirley's mom sat down next to Shirley in the bed and started to read a favourite story, The Gruffalo. And Shirley said, Mom, it's a bit scary. Can you actually get in the bed and read it with me, please? Sure, said Shirley's mom. And Shirley's mom got under the covers and started to read the story. Mom, can you turn the light off and just tell me the story, please? Sure, said Shirley's mom. 
the witch. So she and his mom turned off the light, came back and got into bed. She started telling the story. And then Shirley closed her eyes, said the magic word, and they were off. What's going on? said Shirley's mom. I am taking you to the moon. And she whisked the mom to the moon, kicked her out of the bed, and then got back in and flew back down to earth. As she was coming back down to earth, she saw the owl. Hello, said the owl. Hello, said Shirley. What are you doing here? There was just a teddy bear in a box the other day, flying up, and I went to the moon with him. Well, don't go back to the moon, said Shirley. Why not? We had a nice picnic there last time. There's not much going on. Well, there's a bloody witch there now, so if you go there, she might catch you. Ooh, well, I'll tell everybody not to go to the moon then. That's right. And so Shirley landed back down in her bed, in her room, and had a look up. She had a telescope so she could see the moon, and she saw that the witch was stuck on the moon. Wow, well, I've done my job now. There's not going to be a witch to catch any of the boys and girls. And now, all I have to do is find a real nice mom who can live with me and so I can grow up like a real child, even though I am magic. Anyway, that is another story about how Shirley found a real mom. But you know that this is the end of the story because she got rid of the witch that was trying to kill her. Who was a mom, but not really. The end.